Hello and welcome to Barbershop Book Storytime with Alvin Irby. That's me. Today's story is a cool story. I think you're going to like it. I know I say that every time, but it really is a cool story. Today's story is called Looking for Bongo. Looking for Bongo? Let's take a look at the front cover of the story. Well, I see a little boy <laughs> with a cool afro. You see his afro? And it looks like he's looking for someone. And the name of the story is called Looking for Bongo. So it, I think maybe the story is about him looking for somebody named Bongo. Do you think that Bongo... What do you think? Who do you think Bongo is? Do you think it's his friend? Do you think it might be his sibling, like a brother or sister? Do you think it's a pet? Bongo does kind of sound like it could be a name for a pet, but there's only one way to find out who Bongo is. We have to read. So let's hop into today's story. Oh, look. Do you see these Congos? For my mom, who once dreamed of becoming a fashion designer, and for my dad, who has fulfilled his dream of becoming a musician. Oh, and look, there's some drums. So maybe his dad played the drums. Sometimes in stories, the author or the illustrator will um, write a thank you or they'll explain what inspired them to want to write uh, a story. So let's hop into today's story, Looking for Bongo. Where is Bongo? I need Bongo to watch TV with me. And look, the little boy in the story, he's looking everywhere for Bongo. Now remember, we don't know who Bongo is yet, but I have a feeling we're going to figure it out. And look at him. He's just looking like, I don't know where Bongo is. Cool. I asked Wella, donde esta Bongo? They're speaking Spanish. Where is Bongo, she says. Oh, she says, I read that wrong. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to read this sentence again. I asked Wayla, donde esta Bongo? Where is Bongo? That's how you say it in Spanish. Donde esta Bongo? She says, no say. I don't know. So in this story, it sounds like the boy right here and his huela, which is a word that that sometimes people use for grandmother in Spanish. She speaks Spanish too. So this is cool. In today's story, we're going to uh, learn about a boy who speaks English and Spanish who's looking for somebody named Bongo. Um, so did you see the little boy? And he is talking to his huela or his grandmother. And he's asking her, where is Bongo? She's like, I don't know. I asked Gato, did you see Bongo? Gato says, meow, and runs away. Gato, <laughs> that's how you say cat in Spanish. Do you see the Gato? The Gato is right here, Gato. All right. <laughs> and the boy is asking the cat if the cat has seen Bongo. So I have a question. Can a cat even speak? That would be funny if the cat said, oh, yeah, I saw Bongo over there. But cats can't really talk. So, all right, let's see what happens next. I asked Daisy, did you see Bongo? Daisy says, woof, woof. Then she rolls over. Who did the boy in the story ask this time? 
Well, there he is. And he's asking his, his dog, and the dog's name is Daisy. But the dog can't talk either like humans, and all the dog says is woof. So I don't think the cat, the gato, or the dog are going to be much help for finding his lost friend. I asked my dad. But he is about to go out. He says he will help me when he gets back. But I need my bongo now. And look, here's a little boy talking to his dad, asking if he can help him find bongo. And look who's behind him. Do you see the cat and the dog? They're both sitting behind the boy listening. And I don't know if you were paying attention on the last page, but did you see these congas, these musical instruments in the background? Remember that the little boy said that his dad is a musician. So I want you to pay really close attention to each of the pictures so that if you see an instrument like these drums or these drums to just make a note of that. All right. Oh, there's something else cool on this page. I have to show you. What do you see behind the dog? I see a tall bookshelf. Do you see it? It's right here. And it reminds me a lot of my bookshelf. It kind of looks similar. All right, let's keep reading. I asked my dad. Oh, but his dad said that he was going out. We read that page. For those of you who are just tuning in to Barbershop Book Story Time, today we're reading a cool story called Looking for Bongo. And there's something really interesting and fun about today's story. The character, the main character in the story, this boy, he also speaks some Spanish. So when he's talking to his grandma and other people, sometimes he speaks to them even in Spanish. All right, let's keep reading the story. I try to ask mom, but she is busy. She says, no lo he visto. Buscalo. I have not seen it. Look for it. So his mom said in Spanish, I have not seen it. Look for it. So here's something interesting. I didn't know that buscalo means look for it. But I think that's what it means. Buscalo, look for it. So I'm even learning like a little Spanish right now while I'm reading the story. And look, remember he said his mom was busy? Well, look what she's busy doing. It looked like she's doing a little girl's hair. I bet this little girl is his sister because she, she does kind of look like him a little bit. So that's kind of cool. And I think he said his mom is a fashion designer. So if you look really close, you will see stuff related to fashion design. Like I see some dresses and some pictures of designs on the wall. So that's kind of cool. Let's keep reading. The bell rings. Wela, remember that's his grandmother. Wela opens the door. It is a man with a box. Mm, do you think that Bongo will be in a box? Probably not. But his mom did say, I have not seen it. So now we know that Bongo is an it. So it's almost like we're reading detectives because by listening to the way that people describe Bongo, we get an idea of what or who Bongo is. So we know that maybe it's not like a person. Maybe it's an it. It's maybe like a thing. Well, let's keep reading. And here is the delivery man with the package. And you can see the boy and he's standing there with his wela, his grandma. Oh, and Gato. You see the cat? Uh, the cat is also there. 
is Bongo in that box, I ask? He says, huh? And he walks away laughing. Well, I don't think that the delivery man even knows who Bongo is. So maybe that's why he started laughing. And look, the way, his Wayla, his grandma, it even looks like she's almost laughing too. This box has the new curtains. Bongo is not in this box, Wayla says. Bongo is lost forever, I say. And look, the little boy is just thinking about Bongo. Now, for those of you who are just tuning in, today's story is called Looking for Bongo. And we don't even know who or what Bongo is. All that we know is that the little boy in the story can't find Bongo. And he's looking around all over the house and asking everyone, have they seen Bongo? So... His abuela says, nope, I don't know his grandmother. I don't know where your bongo is. Then I see a little brown arm. How did bongo get there? I do not care. I am happy. I have bongo. What do you think bongo is? Hmm. Do you think Bongo is a toy? Do you think Bongo is another type of animal? Do you think Bongo is his friend? Well, let's take a look. Do you see his face? The little boy looks so surprised because he's been looking for Bongo this entire time. And he never thought that he would find it, but... Guess what he found? He found Bongo. Well, we know Bongo isn't the dog or the cat, and these are drums. Do you see anything else in the story? Well, I see something that looks like a dog, and it's right here at the bottom. So maybe Bongo is a puppy or a dog. What do you think? Well, Let's keep reading the story to find out. Wayla, look, I found Bongo, I say. Good for you, she says. Next time, remember where you put him. But I do remember. He was with me in my bed. So in the story, the little boy is showing his grandma, his Wayla, that he found his well, I can't tell if it's really a puppy or if it's a stuffed animal. Let's look at his paws. You know what? Those paws do not look like the paws of a real dog. So I think that Bongo is actually a stuffed animal that looks like a dog. So he was showing his grandmother that he found Bongo and his grandma said, well, make sure you remember where you put him next time. But the boy said, I do remember I had him with me in bed. So if he brought Bongo into bed, but then the next day his stuffed animal disappeared, how in the world could that happen? What do you think happened? And look, his grandma has the curtains that were delivered in the mail. Let's find out what's been happening with Bongo. Tonight, I will hold on to Bongo so he won't run away again. And look, there he is holding on to Bongo and explaining to his Wayla, that's his grandma, that he's going to hold on really, really tight to Bongo to make sure that he doesn't get away. And look, here's a picture of the little boy in the story sleeping with Bongo. And I think that he's already fallen asleep. And look, his mother, well, she's looking back and I see something in her hand that I really, really like. Do you see what's in his mother's hand? I see, it looks like maybe it's 
a story, like a book, kind of like a book, like what we're reading now. And so I bet that his mom just finished reading a story to him. And now he's falling asleep. What do you think is going to happen to Bongo? That's his pet. Uh, well, it's not a pet. It's a stuffed animal. So it's like his stuffed animal that's shaped like a dog. What do you think is going to happen to it? Because another night he went to sleep with Bongo. That's his pet. Uh, and then his stuffed animal. But then it disappeared. So what do you think happened? I don't know. Oh, man, you're not going to believe this. Uh-oh, I wake up. It was you. You are not going to believe what happened. Look, his little sister, she tried to take his stuffed animal away from him, but he had a string attached to it. So guess what? When she pulled the stuffed animal, it woke him up. And now he knows exactly who's been taking Bongo. In the middle of his night, in the middle of the night, his sister, she climbs out of bed, comes into his bedroom, and takes his stuffed animal while he's sleeping. But this time, he had a string attached to Bongo and to his arm. So when she pulled his stuffed animal, guess what happened? It jerked his arm and now he knows what's been happening with Bongo. And guess what? That's the end of the story. Thank you all so much for watching Barbershop Book Storytime. I hope you enjoyed looking for Bongo. It's kind of like a funny story. Um, I really like it. Well, if you want to learn more information about Barbershop Books or to make a donation, you can visit our website at barbershopbooks.org. You can also connect with us on social media at Barbershop Books. Well, until next time, bye. <laughs>